Welcome, folks. This is Gary Gunn. Uh, welcome to Showcase. And I've got a great friend to, uh, that I've had for many, many years in this industry, and his name is Brian Gellis. I'm not going to give you all his accolades and who he is and what he's all about. He's going to do that. But in honor of him, I've got my UNET results hat on this morning. So if you're looking for a full-line coaching company, there's no better guy than Brian Gillis. I've seen him in action. I've been to his meetings. Man, we've done uh, service advisor training together. And uh, he's, he's the real deal. So, Brian, why don't you tell the folks listening to this audio about who you are and a little bit of background. So if they don't know, they'll know a little bit more. Sure. Uh, and thanks, Gary. Thanks for having me on. Uh, well, okay. So, wow. Uh, so I've been in the industry now, I guess, ooh, going on 26 years, 26 years, 27 years, maybe. And uh, I was fortunate uh, to latch on to a great company in my early 20s um, here in Houston, Texas, where I, I, I'm back now living. Um, and I, uh, we ended up going to work for uh, a fellow named Todd Hayes and Greg Sands with a company called Mobile Car Care. And the company mm -hmm. was a performance-based company. Uh, and that was very appealing to me um, that I could go in. And it really wasn't about uh, seniority or, or tenure. It was really a bit more about how effective you were um, at operating a shop uh, and how successful you were with with being able to pretty much drive sales, manage the team and so forth. And so um, very quickly, uh, I was promoted uh, t within one year. I think I was 24, 23 or 24 when I started. Uh, within one year, I was promoted to running my own location. Um, had a lot of success. Um, there was a little bit of a struggle there uh, at one particular point in time because I uh, – I had lost a very, very good uh, technician uh, who uh, had a confrontation with a multi, one of our multi-unit guys. And uh, although I tried to uh, prevent it from happening, uh, this guy uh, took it upon himself to get into a pretty pretty good argument with, with one of our technicians. And uh, that was the biggest, that's the first time I realized the impact of being able to hire your people um, and the importance of staffing uh, but that was something I, at that time I didn't have experience in. Uh, so I did get banged back down to a assistant manager. That would happen. Uh, but within uh, another 12 months, I was promoted again to get my own location with my lesson, of course, learned. Um, had a lot of success. In fact, they, uh, they put me, you know, at the time we had 15 or so locations in the Houston market. They would put me at different locations and, uh, you know, I'd get the numbers up, our margins strong, fully staffed, and then they put me in another one. And after a little while, I was like, hey, guys, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Quit moving me around. You know, we're, we're having some success here. Uh, and so then at the age of 26, I got promoted to the recruiter and trainer, um, which was a, a great position. Um, got to work directly with the, the big guys, the top leaders of the company, and there was no uh, – regional manager in between myself and the CEO um, or our uh, COO at the time. And so uh, really enjoyed that. I um, had an opportunity to, with part of my recruiting, we were had branched off into the, uh, some other marketplaces besides Houston. I was working in Atlanta and, uh, and staffing up, you know, getting ready to staff up some, some locations that we had out there and fix some issues through, uh, through hiring and recruiting. Uh, that's when I got to work directly with, uh, Greg Sands and, uh, he felt like I would be a good fit to run his Atlanta market. At the time we had five locations, all five of the stores in the Atlanta market were, were losing money. In fact, they had lost about $375,000 the 12 months prior. That's yeah. a big number, man. That's a big number. <laughs> it's, it's very upsetting, but yeah, yeah. So about, you know, the 12 months prior to Greg and I getting there. And then within the first 12 months of, of me coming in there and Greg being there, uh, we had a net profit of $375,000. So, uh, three quarter of a million dollar swing. Uh, we averaged a 62% gross profit year round on the five stores. Um, 
and then it was just off to the races. Uh, we grew a very large company. We grew a company worth to be worth over a hundred million dollars. Um, I was with Sands uh, in totality for just about twenty years. In fact, I only missed it by a couple of months. Um, but we had a lot of success. We grew. Uh, like I said, the, we launched an advertising company called Mudlick Mail, which is now Upswell. Um, and we grew. We grew into uh, several marketplaces. Uh, of course, Houston, Atlanta. Uh, we were in Florida, uh, Tennessee, Arizona, Colorado. Uh, and so we were just growing. Uh, and so uh, at the time when I resigned, I was uh, the vice president of SR Sanco, one of them. And, um, you know, one of the cool things that uh, the direct mail company offered me the opportunity to do was get to work directly with shop owners. Mm -hmm. Um which was something that, uh, you know, previously I'm just running shops, right? I'm doing the, doing my deal and, you know, hitting my margins and beating last year's sales and growing our market, our market share at our locations, uh, that I was responsible for and over. But then I had the opportunity, uh, to do some things with Mudlick Mail. Um, occasionally shop owners would have concerns or struggles, and they would turn me on to helping them and addressing their concerns. I had the opportunity, Gary, when you had your coaching company, Turnaround Tour, to come out and work with you. And, mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day, I fell in love with it. Um, yeah. It was way more meaningful to me to help somebody turn their business around, get profitable, get staffed, you know, boost up their market share um, than, you know, selling brake jobs and timing belts. And so... I had a real yeah. true passion to do that. And, um, and so here I am today, you know, you fast forward, uh, and, uh, that experience, uh, has allowed me and put me in a position to where now I can do that full time. And it's very, very rewarding. And I, and I enjoy it. That's what, that's what we do. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit about me and my background. Um, I think at the most, uh, locations at one time, uh, that I was over was in the high teens, potentially 20, uh, but oftentimes lended a helping hand to other markets, uh, just coming in training or helping with recruiting and getting staffed and things of that nature. So, yeah. Well, oh, man, that, that background, Brian, sets us up perfectly for what we're going to talk about, the three Ps. 